Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammie, and welcome back to the homestead. Well, guys, check out the chickens over here. And sunshine. They are taking a dust bath. It's actually supposed to have some rain tomorrow, and uh, they're getting, getting their uh, feathers all oiled up and ready for this next um, shower that's fixing to come in. Now guys, what I'm doing here is that this used to be the place where the chicken coop was at until I built one over on the other side. And so it was right here for a couple of years. So it hasn't been here in a year. And uh, Sunshine, no, 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 no. So it hasn't been here for a couple of years. And I have this big old tub here. And it's actually for you for trees and flowers. And so I was going to get some dirt out there in the field, and I was like, you know, wait a minute. This over here is perfect. It's been sitting here for about a year, and it's got shavings into it. I looked down into it. It's got a lot of earthworms. It's been broken down. It's really kind of just been turning into compost, been turning back into dirt. Um, the roots are all there, and so it's actually perfect for me to be able to fill this up right here. Now, I went ahead when I was filling up, then I put some 888 in there, and then I put some more dirt, oh, I mixed that up, and then I put some more dirt, and I took and went and got some nitrogen, and I sprinkled it in there, took my shovel, mixed it all up, and now I decided to put these potatoes in here, just white potatoes. I was originally was going to put sweet potatoes in here, and you could do the same thing, put sweet potatoes in here, and grow slips. So my next stage is, is just to take and put some of this more dirt on top of this and, and just wait. Um, there is a lot of potatoes in here. I've got some in the garden. I've got some in the raised bed. I've still got some in case, you know, another storm comes and I lose my potatoes like I did last time with the storm that we had here onto the East Coast. But I've got these potatoes. I think everything's going to be okay. And I just want to really kind of use these potatoes. And so let me show you. So there's a lot of potatoes in there. Gosh, that's, that's way too many. Well, you know, this is how I look at it. Sometimes you gotta experiment. And uh, if I don't put them somewhere, then they're already been cut. They have been cured on their, their, on their you know, they've been cured, they've been cut. And the skin part, if you wanna say it like that, this, it's been cured. It's been sitting there curing for, wow, you know, a week. And so, and the, the eyes are coming out real good on them. And so I'm just gonna put them in this container here. And as they grow, hopefully I could just dig down there, maybe dig some smaller potatoes up, take some out. Maybe I'll get another a raised bed. You know, I just don't know. But this I do know, I just do not want to lose these potatoes here because I don't have that place to put them. Now I, I have garden space. But we're behind on planning times, if you want to say it like that, it's because of the storm that went across the United States, so across America. So, um, and usually I don't be, I don't, I do not be plant, I do not be planting. I, I usually don't plant potatoes right now. I mean, they would, they should have been like in the ground. Well, actually, about a month ago, if if, if the weather was doing good. So, because the weather wasn't doing good here onto the East Coast, and spring is almost here, of course with the grand solar minimum, we don't know exactly what it's going to be doing because it's like almost 80 degrees today, and yesterday I was freezing. So, and uh, we got rain coming in, and uh, I believe it's going to turn around and uh, have a day, and it's going to rain again, and we're going to get real cold again. It's kind of hard to get adapted and adjusted to this weather. So with the saying that I got seeds or seedlings, you know, plants coming up and they're about that tall now that are ready for the spring planting. So I'm looking um, forward to putting those in there. I've got about 18, I think, tomato plants. I've got squash, I've got some zucchini. I've got, wow, I got some onions um, that I'll probably hopefully transplant over here if the heat doesn't take them out. Hopefully I'll just keep them, keep them going and then maybe by when it starts cooling down and the season changes, they'll just start taking off again. But I've got cucumber uh, plants growing. Um, gosh, I, you know, different types of peppers, bell peppers, uh, Hungarian 
peppers, just different types of plants that I want to get going. Plus, too, when this time is right, hopefully the garden, if I can get it in there, I did extend it this year, but you know, it seems like I, I can just plant everything. So, you know, you're kind of like when you're eating, your stomach, your eyes are bigger than your stomach, and then you get all this food, and you're just like, I can't eat it all. Well, I kind of do that when it comes to planting. I want to plant it all, but uh, eventually I will get to that place. I can plant exactly what I want because this year I really had a desire for some peas and some potatoes. But that storm came by, it rotted the peas into the garden peas into the ground i was really surprised they started sprouting but then when all that rain came in it was just too much water and it just started rotting them and plus the onions they just couldn't take all that water so i transplanted them somewhere else and then the potatoes i did come out here and dig some of them up salvage a lot of them and amazingly because i had prayed i was like god please you know i didn't play with my garden piece honestly but i kept thinking about those potatoes because homegrown potatoes are just so good they're nothing like the grocery store and I kept thinking about the potatoes, and I kept saying, God, you know, please protect my potatoes. You know, I know you can do miracles. I know he's a miracle-working God. He's done miracles in my life, so I, I know he is. Well, I asked him all that, and then I still went out there and p p dug some my biggest potatoes up. But I left the other ones into the ground that had been cut like those. And this is to say, believe it or not, uh... As I was tilling this up to get some air circulation into the soil of it being so saturated wet, uh, I did find some potatoes that were still good. And I was like, wow, you know, that, that in itself is a, a miracle. There's no way this, it was just, you just mud down, you mug right on down. It was just so bad. Well, guys, I just want to show you just a little clip here about the potatoes. If you don't have a garden space or you don't have, um, uh, any place a raised bed you can get a container like this at the nursery stop by there see if they got some containers and ask if you can buy one you probably buy one for like 10 bucks if they got any extra ones sometimes they get maybe a little bit damaged with their uh, perspective and you, you know you might get one you might get a couple of them I would love to have more of these right here if I had more I would definitely span these potatoes out and put them into it and just grow me some potatoes into a container and once again, you could do sweet potatoes like that. So you put your sweet potatoes in to grow the slips, and then you could take those little plants that come off of that potatoes and then plant them somewhere, and you have more than enough. Um, I did think about put them, you take your sweet potato and put them in a jar with some water and put two picks in to hold it up. But you know, I, I've never done that before. Uh, but this way, or taking your potatoes or sweet potatoes, if you want more sweet potatoes to be able to grow sweet potatoes, then you want to put your sweet potatoes in there and get these little plants coming out and then you take and just uh, break those off and then plant them you know depends on how long the plant is but plant them down just like you would do any other plant so once again guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe and hit that like button and leave a comment below uh, i love doing these videos but until i get a number amount of likes and comments it just kind of stays stuck there but i'm okay with that i just believe that this is the direction that god wants me to go into to encourage people out there for such a, a time as this on certain times and inform people what is going on you know and to help them to plant because gardening is is really just pretty much whatever you put into it what time you put into it that's what you're going to get out of it if you don't want to take just a little bit of time, uh, I used to have house plants, and one time I had 30 some house plants in my house. Well, I'm not much of a house plant person, but the point is the same. If you like house plants, you know, it's just pretty much you just got to you just got your plants somewhere else. People could say, well, gosh, I can't, I can't, I can't keep a house plant. I kill it. Well, gardening's probably a lot easier than keeping some of those house plants. All right, guys, thank you so much again. This is Cammie at Never Alone Homestead. Thumbs up, guys.